Hello and welcome to Inspiration 8 Tutorials, Part 1, a tutorial for new users of Inspiration 8 software. In this segment, we will be using the following features. Create, Link, Rapid Fire, Arrange, Zoom In, Zoom Out, and Fit to Window. Let's get started. Once you've clicked on the Inspiration 8 icon in the dock, you'll see the following window. It's called the Inspiration Starter. For now, let's just click on Diagram. Once the program is started, Inspiration will automatically start us with the main idea. However, the main idea is too small. We want to make it bigger, and this is how. If you look at the bottom left corner of Inspiration 8, you'll see the following three symbols. The first is for zooming out. The next for zooming in. And finally, the Fit to Window button. For most applications, you'll want to use the Fit to Window button. Once clicked, it will center and enlarge the content, like this. Once the main idea is centered, we can start building a concept map. First, we need to change the main idea. We can do this by single clicking the bubble. Once clicked, the cursor will begin to blink. Now we can add our own. By clicking away, the main idea is no longer highlighted and we can begin to add topics. There are a few ways to do this. First is by using the Create button at the top. If you look carefully, you will notice that there are bubbles in all directions from the center. If you hover your mouse over any given direction, the corresponding bubble is highlighted. Once clicked, a bubble is added in that direction. Single click the highlighted empty bubble and add your topic. To link the main idea in the topic, simply single click the main idea, click on the link button at the top, and click on your topic. It's that easy. You can also connect ideas by first highlighting your main idea and clicking create in your preferred direction. One quick and easy way to connect ideas is to use a rapid fire function. You can do this by highlighting or single clicking on your main idea and then clicking the rapid fire button. You'll notice that a small red lightning bolt appears next to the main idea. Begin typing your topics. After each one, press return or enter. The topics then automatically connect to the main idea. Finally, we want to make sure that our concept map is organized. We can do this by clicking on the Arrange button at the top. Once you've clicked, you'll have a couple of options. The first is how you would like to organize your concept map. The options are Tree, Web, and Split Tree. Below the Arrangement options, you are able to turn on or off the Auto Arrange options. Once you have selected your arrangement preferences, click OK and your concept map begins to take shape. There you have it. Now you've seen the basic functions and features of Inspiration 8. Keep an eye out for part 2 of Inspiration 8 tutorials, where we will continue to explore and learn this flexible software.